Ollie the Big Link, who I mm -hmm. love seeing in this game, has a lot of really interesting traps and a lot of really interesting uh, mechanics that are exclusive. You really won't find anything like it in another character. No, I um, mean, especially that that bomb that he has. The closest mm -hmm. thing in this game to that is Rob's Gyro, but this is like, like almost a, better than Rob's Gyro. I, I would consider it like a Peach Turnip and C4 had a baby, and that's the move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't get perfect IVs in every stat, but it's close. Yeah. yeah it's it's <laughs> real. It's a really good projectile, but my question is how much it's going to change the game against Austin, and particularly how he uses that magnet. Yeah, and an, an important part about the matchup is actually that the bomb that he's able to bomb jump with there uh -huh. to avoid all of that PK Thunder, right up smash throw on coverage on the landing, uh, is it can be immediately detonated by the PK fire. So it's... Yes can't be used as well as a neutral tool, but once you put Ness off stage, you can really use it for ledge trapping. Great forward smash. <laughs> he threw out the boomerang, knew that it was going to be coming back to him, so he's able to punish Ness for trying to, you know, challenge with the forward air. Mm -hmm. Boomerang swings back, hits him, and he's able to set up the forward smash. Jeremy, keeping it close here. Normally, sword characters do pretty alright against Ness, uh, being able to challenge his big magical hitboxes with their own big swords. Yeah. And but sometimes that's really tough uh, against Ness in particular for Link, mm -hmm. just because those aerials are really slow for him, and he's lucky that he got clipped right there. Otherwise, he might have gotten clipped. Oh, yeah. Like Twitch clipped. My gosh, Austin actually, you saw, used that side magnet to turn around and actually hit the forward air on that cross up rather than the back air, which is what most would expect in that situation. And speaking of the back air, eventually comes through to take that stock. It's a really potent aerial, does a lot of damage. Literally does almost 20 damage. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of the better back ears in the game, especially attached to Ness. But right there, Gemma doing everything he can to get Austin to come towards him and whip. Mm, had a great read, but unfortunately was able to connect the forward smash. Does connect the up get some good damage, but now Austin's turn to play. He was going for the foot stool. Mm -hmm. Doesn't find it, but he's still got all this pressure. Now, he should not be standing oh, right there dead. at the ledge, he's although dead. Gemma, yeah, with that air dodge, is going to die. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin just needs to be careful of the fact that Gemma, uh, the Gemma, is recovering to ledge by turning around with the up B and scooping somebody off the stage and killing them. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And at 68%, I would not be surprised if he died. Yeah, it maybe not outright, but set up for something that Link could definitely go out there and catch, uh, catch mm -hmm. an ass. If um, it doesn't outright, and outright yeah. most characters died of that at 80. Yeah, honestly, that move is strong. Yeah. Uh, and we saw that he was kind of prepared for it a little bit earlier. Jammer went for it more than once. You know, he shielded it once. You know, he, mm -hmm. he had his, he's had a little setups. Um, and and one time, like he just hit the the recovery before with the yo-yo, before he was able to do anything silly with the scooping. But it is definitely something that you have to be careful of. I mean, it's something that you have to be so careful of. I feel like it really mitigates the amount that you can use the yo-yo as an edge guard in this match because if that hitbox goes wrong, which sometimes it does, you don't want to have your edge guard turn around to just being your death. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the most embarrassing way to lose a stock, quite right. frankly. Do you like I'm supposed to have this edge trap? Like, I I could edge guard an S. Maybe I didn't have time to go out there, but at the very least, I have a ledge trap, and that's supposed to be a really advantageous situation. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and then I just get hero spinned off the stage. Yeah. And it's a bad time. Bad time. That's oh, that's wow. just what Link likes to do. But game two, I saw Great Plateau Tower was selected, and I would imagine it's probably a FD variant. Gemma really likes FD when he's using Link, and that's indeed what he's going to be doing uh, for the stage. I love I love it when people thematically pick for their characters, too. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, this is uh, obviously as much about FD as it is about the themes for Gemma. One of the themes is how he's going to be able to keep Austin from landing safely. Ooh, up smash was nice to scoop up, get some good damage, but oh my goodness, challenging the frame data of Ness is so hard. Look at the damage. He's got to recover. That was a, that was a quick turnaround. I got the very Ooh. tip of that up B, that hero spin on the ground, which is, of course, much weaker than the inside spot, inverse to most sword logic in this game for whatever reason. But right now, Austin's got to find a way to get back on stage against Ooh, Gemma, and that is jump. one of his favorite ledge trap scenarios, is pressure your opponent into choosing something as quick as possible and then cover that jump with the forward air. Oh, yeah, that forward air is a big move, strong move, covers a lot of time as well as space. So... That, that's really important when you're looking for uh, things to ledge trap with. Mm -hmm. Meaty hitboxes. Oh my gosh, two boomerangs in a row and gets more afterwards. He did 44% on oh, an honest-to-god combo. He would have broke the shield if he didn't poke. Austin is very lucky that shield poking works the way that it does in this game, or uh -huh. else that's a dead Ness. And now he's continuing the ledge trap. Look at him. He dashed just out of range of that neutral air. Ness is love to press those buttons Gemma on Gemma is literally playing out the of arrow. his mind he's right now. He that's a bomb. Oh, great timing from Austin. 
Oh my gosh, he's literally, Gemma is not thinking right now, and that is, it's leading him to so much success. Now Gemma, he's gonna die to this back throw. Absolutely. I mean, it isn't as back throw, but I mean, he literally was just, he's so in tune with this character, right, that anytime that he hits a point where Austin is near him, and he like, he has the threat zone visualized in his head, and anytime that Austin's there, he picks the right move to cover it. Okay, Nair covers the roll, really good. Respect of that side magnet. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch out! Get up attack. He's Does have the range. Yeah, okay. Link has one of the longest range get up attacks in the game, actually. It's very nice. Yeah. For and it's slow to the ground, too. A lot of other characters might have missed with the get up attack, and that would have been really safe pressure for Austin. If oh, he went bigger. for the Jamma, and he died for it. Yeah, Jamma did die to try to turn that around. And uh, I mean, all of a sudden, Austin's got the lead, which I did not expect coming into this, and he could be going for the haha <laughs> funny. Jamma died at a really early percent. Now he's caught on fire. Up special does end up taking it. He spins his way into this last stock situation. But Austin's got the pressure. Oh, great tech! Uh huh. Perfect Phenomenal. tech. He got a DI hard into the stage oh, and then get ready for it. But holding out. He yeah, was trying not. to jump back to kind of set up a uh, trap with that boomerang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly not ready for Austin's aerial coverage right there. I can't believe how quickly that comeback happened.